Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to use the unique function to return non-adjacent columns. So this is a great question from Irene, a member of our Elevate Excel training program. And in this example here, we want to use the new unique function, which is a dynamic array function, to return a list of unique combinations of customer names and product names. Now, as you can see here, those two columns are not adjacent. They're not next to each other. Uh, and the unique function does not handle that natively. So we have to use another formula here to help with that. And we can use the index function for this. I've covered this in a previous video on returning non-adjacent columns with the filter function. So if you've seen that, it's uh, the same technique here, but we can also use this technique for other formulas. In this case, the unique function. So let's take a look at how to do this. Uh, before we use the unique function, we're first going to write the formula to return non-adjacent columns. And that again uses the index function. So we'll type index, tab into the map. For the array argument here, we want to reference the entire table. You don't have to use Excel tables here, but it does make it easier, especially for this formula. So we're referencing the entire table. And now for the row number argument, we need to create a list of row numbers for the amount of rows that are in the table. We can use the sequence function for that, the new sequence function. So we'll type sequence, tab into that. And for the number of rows, we can use the rows function to return the number of rows that are in the table. So I'm going to again reference the entire table here uh, for the rows function. We'll close the parentheses there. And then we can close the parentheses on sequence. That's the only argument we need. And again, what that's going to do is create a list of numbers from one to however many rows we have here in the table. And that's what we'll need uh, for the row number argument. For the column number argument, we can reference the column numbers as an array in curly brackets. So I'm going to type an open curly bracket here. We want the first column, comma, and the third column there for the product name. Close the curly brackets on that. Then we'll close the parentheses on our index formula. And this is the formula that's going to return uh, an array of non-adjacent columns. And again, you can have uh, multiple or you can have more than two uh, column numbers in the list here. And these column numbers are specific uh, to the table that we have here, not the column numbers in the sheet. So if this table started in column B, these would still be columns one and three. It's relative to that table reference. So I'll hit enter there. And now, as you can see, we get this list of our customer names and our product names uh, in this spill range, in this spill range here. Now all we need to do is wrap this in the unique function. So we'll go edit this formula here. We'll type a unique at the beginning of it. Oops, there we go, tab into unique. We'll close the parentheses on unique. And so what this is doing, the unique function has a few arguments, four arguments here, but we are three arguments, sorry. But we only need to reference the array, uh, which is this argument here, which again is that entire uh, reference there using the index function. So we'll hit enter on that, and that's going to return a list of unique combinations from the customer name and the product name columns. So we don't have to rearrange our columns here to use the unique function. And again, you can continue to use the new dynamic array formulas here. Uh, if we wanted to sort this as well, uh, we can wrap the sort function here. So I'll type sort tab into that. Again, we just need the array here, which is the entire array spill range that we're returning. Uh, hit enter there and now we've sorted by the first column and we have this list of unique combinations from non-adjacent columns. So again this uh, formula here that returns those non-adjacent columns is very useful. There'll be a lot of situations that we can use this in. This is just one example with unique. Again I have that previous video that shows how to do this with the filter function as well and it's a great way to return non-adjacent columns. So I hope that helps. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment right below this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.